Hello, hope you are doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make a news website on Wix. Wix is a website builder that you can use for completely free and it is beginner friendly. All you'll need to do is go onto Wix.com. From there, you can create an account using your email address. You don't need a credit card or anything like that to sign up. Once you are signed up, you are going to tap on create new site. After selecting create new site, you will be redirected to a page like this. And all we'll need to do right here, we can simply tap on create on Wix editor. After selecting create on Wix editor, you will be redirected to this page. And you are going to tap on set up without AI. After selecting set up without AI, what I want you to do next is tap on the search bar right here and you're going to be typing in news. After typing in news, you can see the different options. So you can choose whether you would like it to be a news blog, news magazine, a news film coming soon or news producer. For this example, we will be selecting news blog. Then you are going to tap on next. After selecting next, you can enter the name of your website. So I'll simply enter test news just for example sake, then tap on next. And from here, you can see the different plugins or features that will be added to your website. So first you can, will add a blog. You'll also have chat with which you'll be able to correspond with your website visitors. You'll also add your Instagram feed. And also if you would like to collect information from your subscribers or so on, you can select forms. And by scrolling down, you can see the different features that you can add to your website. So for example sake, if in the future you would like to sell something or so on, you can do that also using Wix by selecting online store. And I will be showing you how to access these features even if you don't select them at the moment. Then you're going to tap on next at the bottom of the page. After doing this, I want you to tap on begin with a template. By selecting begin with a template, you'll be redirected to this page. On this page, you can see numerous themes that you can choose from. And this is one of the major standout features of Wix compared to other website builders. Because with these themes, you'll be able to create a professional looking and operating website even as a complete beginner. And you're provided with numerous options as you can see over five pages of themes that you can choose from. Once you have found one that you like, let's say for example this theme, all you'll need to do is tap on edit. After selecting edit, you're going to give it a few seconds while the AI... Once on this page, you'll simply tap on the X in the top right here. But this feature is a new feature that Wix came up with. All you'll need to do if you would like their AI to write some content for your website, you could tap in this box and you could give it some information or a prompt and then tap on generate site text and it would compose some articles for your website. If you don't want to do that, you can tap on the X right there to close out. Once you have closed out, you're going to tap on the 50% in the top right hand corner. And at the moment, this is how your website looks as you can see right here. So you can simply scroll down and you can see it has some sample articles on it. And to compose the articles, all you'll need to do is go over to the top left hand corner, tap right where you see home. After selecting home, you're going to see all the pages that are currently on your website. And you can simply tap on all news after selecting all news, you will be redirected to this page. And this is the news page as you can see right here. Now to edit this page or to add your own post, all you'll need to do now, you can simply hover over the page, then tap on manage posts. Once you have selected manage posts, you're going to be redirected to a new tab. So let's select that real quick. 
you'll see a pop-up appear, create new post. After selecting create new post, you'll be redirected right here and you can add in your title and also you can get help with AI if you want to. And also if you would like help to write the article, you could tap on the icon right here to create AI title. After you're finished, you can also use the Wix SEO feature and if you'd like to create categories and tags, you can also do that. After you're finished, you'll simply tap on publish for your article to go live. But let's for now go back. So I'm going to tap on back right here and you'll be able to view all your posts by tapping on posts from the left hand menu option. You can also scroll down and from here, you'll be able to view your comments. You can also view your categories and you can also view the Wix analytics dashboard. By scrolling down, we can see the analytics right here. So you'll be able to see all of your post views, unique visitors, new subscribers, and also your engagement from this section. And this is how you'll be able to create a post as you can see right here. And if you would like to use a post template, by scrolling down, you can see the different templates that Wix provides you with. So they do make it easy for someone to start blogging on their platform, as you can see right here. After you have added your post, what I want you to do next is go over to the left hand menu option. And if in the future you would like to collect any form of payments or so on on your Wix website, all you'll need to do is select billing and payment. Then from there, you could select payments. After you have selected payments, you'll be able to activate the different payment methods that you can provide to your viewers. So you could select manage payment methods. Then from there, you can see you'll be able to connect Tilopay and other payment methods depending on the country you're located in. And by scrolling up, you can also see their marketing and SEO feature. So if in the future you plan on doing any type of email marketing or so on, you don't have to worry as Wix will provide you with the tools you need to do that. Once you're finished, all you'll need to do now is tap on the X in the top right hand corner to close out. And to continue editing our website, let's say you would like to change the header section. All you'll need to do is hover over the particular section that you would like to edit. And you can tap on the section to edit the text if you want. So you could tap on edit text and you can change the text style, the font style, and also the color. And you can do this with all sections of your website. And by the way, if you would like to add something on a particular page that you don't see. So let's say I would like to add a text to this page. All you'll need to do is tap on the plus in the top left hand corner. Once you have selected the plus, you will see different elements that you can add. Whether it be a text, image, a button, anything at all, you will be able to add it quickly by tapping on add elements in the top left hand corner. Once you are finished and your website is to your liking, you are going to tap on save in the top right hand corner. After you have tapped on save, you can select preview to preview the changes. And you can also see the social bar right here. You could set up your own social bar by tapping on it. You could tap on set social links. After you have tapped on set social links, from here you can paste in your Facebook link if you want. You could also add in your Twitter link. And you can also add in your YouTube link. And if you would like to add an RSS feed, you can do that quite easily. So you can simply tap on the social media icon. Then from there, you could paste in the link. And if you like to add more icons, you could tap on add icons right here. And from there, you could add even more icons as you can see right here. So you can see the different options that you are provided with. So as I said earlier, Wix is quite beginner friendly and easy to customize. So let's select preview so we can see how the website looks and operates at the moment. 
So I'm going to tap on preview in the top right hand corner. And you can see right here, this is how it looks at the moment. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.